This God is too much. Ce Dieu est merveilleux. Last Sunday, le dimanche dernier, we ended with the indicators. On a terminé avec l'indicateur. The things that show you that <coughs> this thing, what you are doing, you are already walking away from the glory of God. The things that position you with knowledge and understanding that, hey brother, be careful. This thing that you are doing, you are already walking away. And we saw it, lack of focus. When your heart is wandering, you are no longer focused. Sometimes you pray, sometimes you don't pray. Sometimes you meditate, sometimes you don't meditate. Sometimes you go, for go to church, sometimes you don't go to church. Sometimes you go for Bible study, sometimes you don't go for Bible study. Sometimes you go even for Sunday. Those are indicators only telling you that you are already walking away from the glory of God. Wrong company. Hey, we saw it. Wrong company carries you away. Wrong company. We saw so many characters that wrong company knocked them out from the glory of God. So that you take strategic steps in these last days. When you want to say, hey, get behind me. And you focus. Today, Holy Spirit is going to take us to part two. Part two of walking out of the glory of the Lord. And this part two is heavier. In the course of this part two, some people will cry, but it will be tears for the glory of Jesus. Are you there? Tears of joy. Are you still there? We will continue with the third indicator but before we move to the third indicator may we open to matthew matthew chapter number 26 verse 41 watch and pray lest you enter into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak watch and pray in order to avoid temptation The only way to avoid temptation is to be watchful and prayerful at all levels, at all steps of your life, meaning at any given point you fail to be watchful and prayerful, you land into disaster zone. Take note because the Holy Spirit is going to uncover some critical things to us. At any given moment, you fail to be watchful and prayerful, you enter disaster zone. In First Thessalonians chapter number five, verse 17 through 18. First Thessalonians 5. Verse 17 through 18. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You are asked to do that without ceasing. He takes us so that you understand it well. That you have to be watchful and prayerful all the time. There is no season to be watchful. There is no season to be prayerful. You have to do that all the time. Tell somebody by you all the time. All the time. And you have to do it for everyone. All the time. And you see there. Many persons have been knocked out, have been captured and in disaster zone because you brother you sister you failed to be watchful and prayerful or you you were you paid more attention to some persons than others and you are being knocked out you allow those who pay less attention to walk out you have to do so at all times So we have number one 
lack of focus number two wrong company and number three giving little attention to the more gifted tell your neighbor giving little attention to the more gifted that is what is why so many gifted have been swept the enemy because we give little attention to the more gifted or the, those you call smart those ones who are, you say they are smart whatever you call it you give little attention when you give little attention to the ones you say they are smart or the ones you say they are more gifted what happened you position them for the enemy to capture how do you do so in prayer most often what do we do the ones who are more gifted we give little attention to in prayer with the assumption or with the notion that god has packaged that one so it doesn't need more attention it's an error that's the point of the enemy to capture that's the doorway for the enemy thank you father are you see there please can i have three persons oh, yes come this is my three daughters come just put your uh, come. where's the mother just come just, another person to come just come let me do one illustration this is a family of five father mother and children now if this one is more gifted if this one is smarter than the other two always with 18.5 average on 20 and always first what happened to this family what would they do in this family help me they will focus on these two am i correct they will pray father oh let them come out they will decree they will declare they will fast and pray so that god will lift up these ones am i correct and that's the danger that's the danger when they keep when they pay little attention on this one in prayer what is happening this one is going gradually going gradually even though by them in the house is walking away gradually the devil is gaining grounds that's why the lord says be watchful be prayerful and do so without season you are supposed to pray for them without season all of them but most often what do we do gradually they focus on these ones with the notion that god has already packaged this one am i correct now answer me among these three who is priority to the serpent help me amongst the three the one who is smarter and the two who are less uh, who is priority to the serpent to the enemy you didn't hear me amongst the three the one who is always hitting 18 and first and the ones who are always coming out 10.5 and 11 uh, maybe number 20 or 30 something who is priority to the enemy help me you now understand why at a given point why these ones who are smarter are always captured why some of them are cut short why some of them are captured by the enemy and they are in drugs yet you say ah this child very intelligent why will you get into drugs this child is very intelligent why will you get into scamming this child very smart hey why will you get into this you cannot that's the reason this child very smart i don't understand why would this child be like that because you failed your attention was on eh, the less gifted and you neglected the more gifted and the enemy captured that's the reason why we see the more gifted it gets 
a point, you hear BAM! The enemy has tried, the enemy has captured. Let's finish the one. A more gifted. What are you supposed to do? Affirms. Their attention is supposed to be equal on all these children. They should fast and pray for the children. They are decreed for the children. All. But when you pay people more attention, the other one walks away. God bless you. I'm not saying that you are not, eh? all of you are, eh? in Jesus' name. You are highly gifted for the glory of Jesus. Is somebody getting something? Is that what you have been doing? You now understand why you get to a point and you begin to say, Oh, I don't know what is wrong with this, my child. This child was very smart. This child was very intelligent. I don't know what is happening with this child now. I don't know what is happening with this child. You are the problem. Because you failed to give that child full attention in prayer. You failed. Are you still there? The Lord is good. When you fail, he will come. When you fail to give that attention, the enemy will come and give the attention for you. Number four. Giving little attention to who? To the breadwinners. Look at me and hear me. Giving little attention to who? Breadwinners. Most persons or families give little attention to breadwinners. The notion that God has already blessed that one. God has already packaged that one. And they focus on the ones that they think is a burden. And they cry every day, Father, take this burden from me. The ones who are uh, who are still down there, they consider as a burden. Father, come and help me. These children, uh, they are not giving me peace. They are not doing that at all. They are, they are there praying only for them and so on. And what's happening? They are pushing the breadwinner away. The breadwinner is walking away. And so, interestingly, when you are doing so, you are also walking away. Because that breadwinner, when is your pride, are you there? When the devil captured that one, he has captured you too. Most often, you only the kind of prayer that will pray with the breadwinner is, Oh, Father, bless the breadwinner so that he can already provide for us. Little attention to the breadwinner and the focus on the ones who are not yet settled according to them. Come. Please, can I have a. Come, sir. God bless you. Yes, come. Come. Uh, yes, God bless, God bless you. Come. Come, sir. Yes, the two of you. Come. Uh -huh. We are going to use an illustration of family of five. God bless you, sir. Yes. This is a family of five father, mother, and children. Follow me. This one is the general manager. Are you there? Or whatever office, whatever dimension, or this one is a medical doctor, or this one is this, or whatever, just push on it. This one. So this one has make it, made it big time. Are you there? This one is still struggling to make it this one is still struggling to make it what will happen in this house help me when they are praying who do they focus more on help me eh? they consider these two as what a burden oh lord wipe my tears according to them this one eh? oh father oh they will fast they will pray they will decree they will declare on these two and that's the reason why you will see these two no matter where they are they are surviving they are surviving because of the prayer because of the declarations they are surviving and you see this one now the one who 
who is the breadwinner? What happened? Cut short. Bam! The devil hits down. Why? Because the back of the prayer that was supposed to go is not going. And gradually that one has walked away. The devil strikes. Oh! The breadwinner might still be there, but they get to a point. <laughs> Story. The music change. The breadwinner is no longer supplying. Uh, the devil has captured. The attention of the breadwinner now is on the world, the things of the world. You are crying. Rent, we are dying though. There's no food though. Uh -uh, no more. The same person who used to give you yesterday. The same person who used to take care of mama, take care of daddy yesterday. The same person who used to provide for the house yesterday. Is there now no, no reaction? The world. Everything of the world now. The enemy has captured. But you will hear that that one is wasting millions in the bar. Wasting millions in the club. But to give mama 10,000 for food. <laughs> mama will cry. Mama will shout. No way. It's gone. You will be crying. I raised him. I did this. I did this. But you, have, you also fail to raise up in prayer. Be watchful. Be prayerful with all the kids be watchful be prayerful that's the entry to temptation you may be asking why should i back up somebody like this in prayer he's a grown-up he can pray for himself he can do this don't worry i will answer your question later on is somebody getting something that is why you a family may have cried so many families have buried the breadwinner so many because they failed god bless you your blessing jesus name now look at me another scenario is the, the firstborn the firstborn that's number five the firstborn many families neglect they pay little attention to the firstborn i'll break it down and then by pushing the firstborn out of the glory of god and when the firstborn is gone they are green look at any couple that gets married get that dimension of prayer they are fervent in prayer they will fast they will pray for god to bless them with the food of the womb am i correct you see they are they are steady they will not miss service they are always there every aspect any little thing that they will do they are focused on pleasing god now when the, the child breaks forth what happened the attention start going down start giving way start going down gradually when the child has reached the age where they are looking for the second what happened help me sister help me brother what happened when this couple now is looking for the second Often is paid on the second they will fast they will pray father give us the food of the womb uh, look at it what they looking for the second you can understand you know the ask everyone was the story they will do all kind of stuff praying for the second and so on when god gives the second he gives the third what happened you see the attention narrows completely down to who the youngest you're not here to the youngest the firstborn has been neglected little attention is given to the firstborn and when you do that what happened gradually is green attention now is on the last one and when you do that what happened the enemy captures that's the reason why you find too many firstborn being captured being swallowed by drugs and all kind of things many firstborns 
And why many firstborns, they have nothing to offer. The devil has captured. Firstborn is there, but nothing to offer to the family. In captivity. Look at me. This is what Jacob did. When Jacob had Joseph, all attention was on Joseph. When you look at the physical demonstration of Jacob, you could understand what happened in the realm of the spirit. What happened in his war zone for Joseph. In Genesis 37 verse 3, it brings out loud and clear that this Joseph was more favored by Jacob than all his brothers. That's the reason why Joseph went through what he went through. Who allowed Joseph to get to that point where he got to is the father. Can somebody take my yes, right on. Genesis 37, verse 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all Correct. his children. Because he was a son of his old age. Correct. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors. I hope you are getting it. Are you getting it? Now Israel. You know, after he wrestled with an area, the name changed from Jacob to what? To Israel. Are you there? Now that he loved who? Joseph. He loved who? Joseph. More than who? His children. Help me. More than all his children. More than all his children. More than all his children. That's why you look at. That's why you see the first one. The first one is not to offer. Because the father, the parents did not give the attention. The right attention to the first one. There is him. He has sold a coat of many color to the to Joseph. Yes. Where is the first one? Did he sold to the first one? And we find because of the, the, the how Joseph was rooted. This is the, this is the, the, the last one. Yielding fruits. But where is the first one? Who rescued the family? Where is the first one? That is what is happening with many firstborn. Many firstborn. Look at a family of three or four, or the last one. When a, a, parent, a father eats or a mother eats, he's calling for the last one. Come and eat, eat, eat and grow, finish his food and grow stronger eh? and be a mighty blessing. He's not calling the first one. He's calling the last. Decree upon the last. Is somebody see here? It's an error. Did you get that? Be watchful, be prayerful as you get into temptation. You are supposed to do that for all your children. All your children. Please may you rise. I want you to reflect on what the Lord has uncovered to you. This may be the reason why you have cried. You may have lost your firstborn. Because you failed and the enemy captured. This may be the reason why you lost your elder sister or the, the firstborn. This may be the reason why maybe the smartest person in your family is no more. The one who was very intelligent is no more. Or maybe there, but that's everything. Because you failed in your attention. Talk with your father. It is serious. Oh Lord Jesus. Mercy. Now look at me for one second. With deeper interest. You may be asking yourself. Why should I be praying fervently for the firstborn? Who is a grown of man? A grown of woman? Who can take care of herself? Or why should I pay more attention? Or oh, the same attention on my children. But I is, uh, the, is smart. Or oh, oh, please sit down and let's look at James chapter number five. Sixteen B. I want us to look at it together. James chapter number five, verse sixteen B. Right on. 
The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man the so effective much. fervent prayer of who? A righteous man. Of a righteous man avails much. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. When you sit there as a righteous man and you are praying for your daughter, you are praying for your son, you are praying for your children, it avails the plan of the enemy. It frustrate the plans of the enemy but when you fail to do that or you pay a little attention here and more attention there the enemy prevails I want us to say it together three two one go eh? effective say it again again Look at me. When I receive this message, then I begin to understand so many things. The Holy Spirit took me back to the days of secondary school, my secondary school, and begin to open my understanding. Back then in secondary school, there was a young, there was a, 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 a he was intelligent. He was always the overall first. You didn't get me. From one to uh, from five, he was always the overall first in school. But when we wrote all levels, he failed. If there was one person that everyone was sure that would make it, it was that one. But he failed. We moved to lower street. He wrote in and failed. We moved to upper seat. He was seen for five. Why? Because parents pay little attention to such persons with the notion that that one is already packaged. It's an error. That's the access for the enemy to capture. The effective and fervent prayer of the righteous avails. It's a big error. Instead, the one who is more gifted to the enemy. That's the one the enemy is struggling to target. To capture. The breadwinner that you neglect, you give it attention. That is the, the one the enemy wants to capture. The firstborn. The one in, he knows that that's the one that will really give you water to drink. That's the one they want everyone to capture. The effective and fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. Destabilizes the enemy. Cancels the mission of the enemy. Frustrate the plans of the enemy. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that any of your firstborn any of the world motivated that the enemy has captured today today i told you earlier i came here for war today they must be free they must be free today not tomorrow as you are holding the word of, the word of god sinking the word of god in your hearts freedom is a portion right now in the name of jesus christ let heaven receive an amen like thunder. Now, look at me. Job was here as we are. Some years ago. He had children. As you have children, sister, brother. He did something extraordinary. One thing Job will do always is that one sanctified his children always, all his children. In other words, he had understanding, 
He had the knowledge and understanding on this subject. He will sanctify his children. Two, Job will give offering unto the Lord per head. Thompson, Pam. John, Pam. Angela, Pam. Sophie, Pam. Per head. And Job had ten, ten children. Seven boys, three girls. But yet he will give offering per and he will sanctify them per heads. And the scripture says, Job did this regularly. He did this regularly. He did this regularly. Job 1 verse 5. Regularly. So Have you been yes. doing that? Have you been doing that, sister, brother? Are you playing with the blessings of God in your hands? Have you been doing that? Do you know that a failure to do that, you are gradually walking away with those children from the glory of God? Right on. Job 1, verse 5. So it was when the days of 50... Right on. So it was when the days of feasting had run their course that Job would send and sanctify them. And he will rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. According to the number of the children. Not giving more attention to one and less attention to the other. He is offering this to this. He offers that for all. I don't. For just that. It may be that my sons have seen and caused God in their hearts. Correct. Thus, Job did regularly. He did what? He did regularly. Say it again. He did regularly. He did what? He did regularly. He did regularly. He sanctified his children regularly. He offered to God per head regularly. Regularly. Regularly understanding you now understand why god bless you and everything was smooth and after a while you find yourself at a tight corner being captured with the children god bless you all of you are crying all of you are at the tight corner nothing is working no story at the tight corner in captivity it's your day of freedom today is your day of freedom in the name of jesus christ he has sent for his word for you and for me. Freedom. Walking away. The glory of the Lord. He had understanding. Extraordinary. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Another indicator is little attention to leaders. Another indicator. I walk in a way where you pay little attention to the leaders. The leaders, you release them, they walk away. You too, you are going with them. You, all of you are walking away from the glory of God. Little attention to leaders. We're talking about these leaders. Leaders at all levels. Leaders at all levels. At the unit level. Your unit coordinator. Zona level. Zona coordinator. But you pay little attention. You neglect them. You abandon them and you are praying more for yourself. For your family. What happened? You allow them to walk away. You are also moving with them. At all levels. At the village level. The city level. Regional level. The national level. You are at the level of the church. At the level of the church. At a family level, let's look at the head of the house. How often do you people pray for the head of the house? The father of the house. Little attention. Most often they are praying. The sister will pray that God will bless daddy so that daddy God will bless daddy so that daddy will be able to provide for us. He will go to buy school fees. Put to, uh, 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 he will to give this. He will to do that. Are you there? How many people pray for God to protect the head of the house? For God to secure the head of the house? We see the head of the house giving little attention. Prayer is to pray on the things that are crowding the house. And he's neglected. And that is why we have so many widows today. Hear me? So many. Because of failure to pray for the head of the house. 
that the enemy captures. And so many head of the house have been captured. Have been captured. They come up. And even the ones that are there, hey, some are always well, into, uh, uh, into drugs, alcohol, activity, smoking, humanizing. Some have been knocked out. Some have even abandoned homes, abandoned children, abandoned by captivity, failure to pray. You fail to put your knees to fast to pray for God to secure the head of the house. You should be ready to cry because as it's walk, you are doing that, it's walking away, and you too. How many families? vibrate fervently for the head of the house how many if that's what you have been doing your family please rise if you have been doing fervent prayer for the head of the house you fast to pray for god to protect the head of the house and you do that regularly rise don't rise because of ice be careful don't rise and carry trouble it is better you follow the truth the truth and then you rise at the right time and receive the grace to do so we see there are situations where that man will escape and will shout ha this one just happened though i don't know what happened and god this god i don't the person will not know that there was somebody at the war zone the family were at the war zone praying hitting and you see the effective and fervent prayer of the righteous avails what frustrate the plans and the person is free from that incident that's why so many when you look at that family who who do you think is priority to the enemy the head please be seated god bless you and this is the same scenario with the other leaders be it a unit level a zonal level when you fail to pray fervently and you do that regularly to your coordinators what happened you are releasing them to walk away from the grace most often you gather bah, 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 bah. you hit the coordinator you hit the coordinator they leave there their head their trouble and so on it's for you to pray to go back and pray look at me look at me how many of you fast and pray regularly for your pastor <laughs> how many of you fast and pray regularly how many of you burst out in your own soul and say father hey may that man not know sleepless night may nothing stand on his way may no evil locate him father if it takes one person for you to protect him i should be the one if there is only one voice that you need to hear to protect him, I should be that voice. How many of you do so? You now understand why some pastors who were called seasoned have been captured. Today, you don't understand the kind of messages they preach anymore. You don't understand the kind of message they preach anymore because you failed in your role. Some have been captured. And hear me. Look at me with full interest. If that one that has been captured is attached to your life, you are also gone. You are not here. If the one that has been captured is attached to your life, you are also gone. That is why you will make noise. You will move north. You will move south. You will move left. You will move. You will go round to no avail. You move from one man of God to another to no have no result until you return to the pray point of prayer and start to do the right thing. Then, then, look at me. This is Elijah. This is Elisha. Do you think it was by chance that Elijah told Elisha, "Please stay here. I am going to Bethel." Eh? let me go I have an assignment from the Lord <laughs> Elisha look at him 
And you say, hey, you, as long as eh, your soul lives, and as long as the God that you serve lives, <laughs> I am not leaving you for one second. It was not only physical, it was back up. <laughs> why your chief in the village has been captured by the enemy why your city leader has been captured by the enemy if it be captured why some nation, uh, leaders of the nations have been captured by the enemy because they failed 